All right, well, let's get back to uh, getting the valve cover off and try to get this tiny valve knocked out real quick and uh, get this turd fired up. So when it's up straight up like that and these marks are lined up, then that's the way it's supposed to be. Pop this off. I'm just doing this so I can change the seal. Okay, so another trick you guys can use is to get these seals out is just take a wood screw like so. And then you just put the wood screw through the seal and then it pulls it right out. So now that you get the seal in, you get the screw in. Watch. See, pops the seal right out. Just like that. Alright, you back it out. Go over to the other one. Do the same thing. Alright, then I like to use Vaseline. Take the seal and just rub it on the inside of the seal. Just a, all you need is a little bit, you don't need a lot. Maybe slide it all in there. Alright, and then I want to get the right size socket. And we're going to put that socket on there. And then just take the hammer. Slide and tap it in. Put your fingers around and make sure it's all the way in so it's nice and smooth. Good and sealed. And let's do the crank. Perfect. And then afterwards, just put them all down. We can realign this once we put it in. So this guy goes in like this. And the water pump goes like this. And got to get these two side ones. it up and then when you put the spring on it that's how it works all right we're learning learning stuff put this guy back on but even tight yeah i think the plate is next then the cam gears clean the plate off when the plate is dirty All right, so I'm a complete knucklehead. Uh, I didn't hit the record button. So let me show you what I did. Basically, I put the timing belt on. I put the crank pulley back on, and you get your marks right here. I used white out on that to show, so you can see it, All right? And then I white out this. here and here. So they're lined up right there, just like that, and you can see the marks. And then I white out top up here. And right here and the way I did it was I put everything on um, besides this piece right here with the uh, I left a 14 millimeter loose right here just hand tight where I can move it in and out zap this one down I put the belt on the bottom and ran it up through here and over the top right and then this one was off just a hair 
and I wanted to get that tension out of it, so I moved it down, it lined up perfectly, and then I ran it through here, and then I put the spring on, okay? After I put the spring on, that took all the tension out, and then I rotated the motor. I left this loose still, left it loose, rotated the motor, and all the tension was perfect, all right? Then I just finished doing that, and then I just tightened this one down. Now everything's perfect. So the next thing to do is pop this piece back off so I can put all the covers back on. All right, got the covers cleaned up. And once again, put the uh, white out on the mark so you can see top dead center, 10 degrees and so on. this guy on all right so that piece that's there that's this right here so it's got obviously the mark to line up and then it's got these four little deals there's one here one here one here and one here and then that goes to your crank sensor right here and as it spins by it reads it it tells you where the timing's at It's got tiny marks on it. We've already we've already put those on there, there and there. And then this guy. Got everything ready to go. We'll get fired up real quick. It is currently almost 12 o'clock at night. I'm sorry, it's like 12.30. So um, as long as everything lined up right and it starts up and fires good, we're good. If it does not fire up right and I bend a bunch of valves because I'm an idiot, this is gonna turn into an LS swap. So give me one second here, we'll figure it out. Got a new battery in it, or got a battery in it that's charged now. I uh, just got to start it, and right now it doesn't have a radiator or any coolant or power steering fluid in it, but it does have oil. I did check that, so that's good. I just want to start it for a few seconds, make sure that everything's good, and then uh, and then we'll get to the exhaust and putting the uh, radiator and all that stuff on. So let's, uh, we can't leave it running for too long though, because no coolant and it's super late at night and I don't want to wake anybody up. So let's knock that out. started I know the motor's good most timing's done now uh, we can get to do the fun stuff and once again like I said make sure you like subscribe share make comments and we'll be looking forward to seeing you guys soon